um, yeah, I'm gonna talk today. <laughs> Y'all seen the cult pastor in Jamaica that made the people kill each other? We do want to talk about that a little bit, guys. Um Everybody wants to touch our family. Everybody wants to touch our family. Everybody wants to see us. They want to touch our family. They want to touch us. to Kevin Smith the pathway Pentecostal Church in Jamaica so apparently on Sunday Saturday and Sunday this pastor is excellent to Kevin Smith sent out messages to his church members telling them that they needed to come to church on Saturday and they were gonna have a three-day convention and um, he was sending updates like on Facebook like telling them to sending them videos to show them how to turn off the sensors on their phones and he was sharing articles of like how to like wrap your phone in foil paper so you could cut the signal i don't know if it's 5g signal i don't know what he's talking about um and um he was saying to come now and he said anybody that i touch with my hands like baptized with my hands please come to the church run to the church and he said the ark is leaving and you don't want the ark to leave you. He said it's going to be a big flood and make sure you bring your goggles, okay? So, mama, papa, brother, sister, everybody, the church full of people. The church full of people. The church full. The church no empty, it full. Full of people. All of the people ran down to the church to be a part of the convention or whatever. All right. I'm hearing a couple of things. So I'm just going to give you the allegedly that's in the news right now. And I'm going to tell you exactly what I heard. So they said, he said to them, uh, there was this woman there. She, the, so two stories I heard. The first story is he told when they got to the church, there was cows and goats and pigs and all types of animals in the church. Cause you know, the ark was getting ready to leave. So everybody who was supposed to be on the ark, and y'all know the ark, right? Excuse me, Noah's ark. Remember Noah in the Bible was one of the people that it was going to be a great flood, and they they built the ark, which was a wooden boat that was supposed to float. And exactly how God gave them the dimensions and everything, and that's how they went into the ark. Noah and his sons. And the animals two by two so when they got to the church the church was already set up like the ark and the animals was inside so he told them if the animal the cows pass a certain line they gotta get slaughtered none of the animals ain't passed the line next thing he turned to this woman and he said kill the cow this is what I heard the first story he said kill the cow she was afraid to kill a cow. She didn't know how to kill a cow and she didn't want to kill a cow or however her reaction was. So he turned to the security and he said, well, slash her throat. So the man slashed her throat. And then he must have turned to somebody else and said, oh, slash his throat too. So the man slashed his throat too. So by this time we had two dead bodies that they thought had been slashed with a knife this long, okay? And they were like, oh my God, what's happening? So people started running, scattering or whatever. I don't know, apparently, but... I'm hearing that and then I'm hearing that he called her and he asked her not to kill the cow but that he asked her if she had gotten the joke 
the jook yeah the jook the jook the needle she got a needle and she said yes you know the one that the people in jamaica don't want to take that they fight against right now that they're riding and stuff the jook so he said uh did you take the jook she said yes i took the jook the jook is the needle guys stay with me and she said yes i took the jook that's when he told the man slash her throat call somebody else that he had a list of people that had gotten the joke you know the joke the needle yeah so all those people he had a list of them so those was the people that he came to put on the ark i guess that's the ark was going to take away the people that got the joke i don't know who the ark came for i don't know who it was leaving i don't know what the goggles was for i don't know none of that people died now apparently they said people started running and jumping and all types of stuff something don't sound right because this one woman, she gave her testimony. It's all over the YouTube. She said that when she seen the first woman get her throat slashed, she said, oh, no, this isn't working and I can't stay. So she ran out. Apparently, they locked the doors. They locked the doors. They locked parts of the place. And not only that, like the people that were running, like they were the people and stabbed the people who were running. So those people were uh, taking, um, being taken away by... The, the bullets and everything else that was occurring. The woman said she ran through the door. She said that she knew something was wrong when she seen two women jump the fence. And she said, well, something must be wrong because they always was next to the pastor. So if they run in the jump in the fence, something real bad must be going on in there. Why them who always close to the pastor is running away. Um, she said she left her son and daughter in there, but she didn't know if they were okay or anything. She was going to go down to police station to find out. The woman who died, her brother got interviewed by the news and he said they, uh, he had been invited to the church before and he warned his sister not to go back to the church because something wasn't right with the church because when they went down there, you see everybody throwing their money down on the floor. Like everybody was just throwing their money down on the floor. Like, and people was throwing their whole wallets on the floor and then somebody came and picked up everything. So he was like, well, what? what's going on something there right here at this church and then they had a family member that was going through some sort of sickness and they tried to get the pastor to pray for him but he told him that he had to make an appointment and pay like a consultation fee for prayer so they didn't go back to the church um so the pastor seems to have some kind of allegedly political affiliations that people are saying that he may be affiliated to people in the government and that you know something's going on I, I don't i'm just not understanding because as it happened before a lot of people are saying they they think this happened before and that if so this happened monday but saturday a woman went to the hospital because she had gotten hurt at the church and when she went to the hospital she called the police and let them know that people was going to die Monday. So the police was already on their way to the church when the slaughtering started occurring. So they had a shootout with the people in the church because when they pulled up, the people did not put down their arms. They was doing a back and forth with the police until the police arrested them. They said the pastor was naked. The young, the, all the men were naked. The people were naked. Like, I don't even understand what was going on. I don't understand the ritual. I do not understand the time and the temperance. I know that October 18, uh, Mercury was supposed to go back re uh, direct. And it was retrograde. It was going back direct. That's number one. But then also it's like, like, a, like a pagan holiday, I think. Somewhere around the 17th to 18th is some kind of pagan holiday where they do like, uh, sacrifices so they're saying that the man was calling for human sacrifices at the church I can't say I'm not sure I don't exactly know what was going on I'm trying to figure it out I am still doing the tea I did go online to lipstick alley and I seen a story posted uh, last year March 2020 where somebody said that they came from the US and they rented an Airbnb in Jamaica and when they got down there it was the owner was living in New York her name was Carletta it's it's giving me Zola tea okay they said her name was Carletta and that the girl, the people, the family uh, rented the house in Jamaica and like they gave her money for a driver and for somebody to prepare their food. But like when they got there, 
like they were there for a day they gave the girl the money to go buy the food and come back and everything when they came back three cars were parked in the driveway so they was like what's going on there was a man in a car so they said oh the man in the car is his excellency kevin smith the, the, the pastor that's the the, the 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 lipstick alley thread like a twitter thread like zola a thread about his excellency kevin smith the pastor man so they said that the pastor apparently uh owned the house they they were renting for the airbnb and he had just closed on the house and the woman didn't have no right to rent it to them when it was already sold so then there was some little go around where they put out the woman that was cooking for her and she begged the family begged them if they could stay because they already had paid how much money for the airbnb and he said okay they could stay but then she said that their family was in the house and they there were three men there and that the men were always there and like even though they're in the house somebody was in the living room like somebody was security guarding them excuse me they said they tried to leave <coughs> excuse me and when they tried to leave um the gate was locked so they were like why is the gate locked the man said i cannot let you leave i have to call his excellency to see if i could open the door so these people are like what are you talking about calling him to see if you could open the door let us out so they called his excellency and he let them out so they found a way to get a new place to live and the man didn't want them to go and the gate was closed and it was kind of kidnapping hostage situation and they had to go to the police and the man came and it was a mess but it is a thread concerning his excellency kevin smith so i don't know if it's a real story or a fabricated story but it does talk to a hostage situation kidnapping almost kidnapping a hostage of these american people so I don't know what was going on with Kevin uh, Smith. I don't know what's going on with his church. I don't know what kind of church that is. I don't know what kind of cult. I don't know what they're doing. So I did want to bring that to you. I'm going to go into that tea. I'm going to be researching it more. And my next video, I'm going to be giving you an update of that also. And I did tell you that I was going to give you the update of Jacure. Jacure, they said, is looking at 15 years in jail. Um, he's also looking at a... Um, supposed to be getting a Grammy nomination. They're saying that the the jail um, on drama huh? help me release <laughs> come on drama help me release come on church yeah 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 Lift up your hand to receive. Open your mouth to receive. Tasha Manda. Woman, push your way through. Come. I feel God here. The angel of the Lord is here. Come. Anointing is falling. Come. You yeah, walk past power like you know, feel power. Release. He dry bone live. You're dead too long. You're buried too long. Come alive! Who's a man the ocean? You think this is a joke, man? Come. Release. Somebody shout release. You need the Holy Ghost, he's here. You need revival, he's here. You need power, he's here. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. Katorobo sotorimi atosha. Akorobo sutarabaha shatarabahai. Come on, man. You know God has more for you than that. You know, God has more for you than that. I need another portion of the Holy Ghost. Somebody help me, help me, help me, help me. Come on, the church. Shh. 
Shotorabosaya. One afraid for the man fall under the power. I'm about to go. You said, God, I need something tonight. I pour out the anointing upon you. You shall never be the same. Somebody say, Yeah. Listen, if you don't believe, I'm going to send you one. Come on, believe. Choir. You don't know no song. Sing song, no man. We want to see Jesus lifted high. A banner that flies across the sky. Then when I see the truth. Power of the Holy Ghost come upon his ministry. He'll never be the same. talk to them be do you know how many girls in this church has told me no his excellency when they come to the office and they have begun to give away their sardine for free and i explained to them that once you open the sardine see it cannot close back again and everything has to be eaten and if you retain it guess what's going to happen it's going to contaminate you they look at me and tell me no his excellency and so it go when you cook up your mackerel and giman it's called a dash out or a dirty girl right and the man will marry you because your mackerel is special sweetheart sweetheart do you think if your mackerel has a little bit more pepper it is better than the other mackerel with less pepper because your mackerel is spicy, the man will stay. So just because when you gave the man your mackerel, he was running eye water and him knows a run because it was so tasty. <laughs> so you believe that your mackerel has gripped him forever. Because your mackerel called pliers. And this man has told you, if you allow me to sample your mackerel, I am going to marry you. What is the father of all lies? Your Christianity, your relationship is gone, is being threatened, but because in promise, him going to make me go for it. Richie is going to give you your visa. When is the last time Richie was the Canadian British High Commission or the U.S. Embassy? So you stop going to church because of Richie. Because Richie has given you a promise. Do you know many people mad with me, Crown Bishop? Because they stop coming to church because of somebody's promise and have me up when I corrected them. I know the person leave them, they don't even remember the reason why they left church is because I advised them in the right. When there are people telling you to go against God's instruction and it comes to your life and may I have to watch your message now. 
I really want to talk. It's so much cold, man, if you're talking to them, say, this, 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 this. So the So far, um, the adult class is winning, and the rest, they are beaten up bad. Now it's four thousand nine hundred. Is I wanna, wanna guessing I wanna play in Scrabble. Oh, who they pay to? I'm right here. <laughs> sent, went, sent along with one of the young men. All right, those of you who are late this morning, can I have the late book? I know all who was here from this morning. Send this room. Put it in this room. How many of you are late? Two hundred dollar can't pay for the whole of your Jingmang family. start calling out names. I don't see Paula you will come to me then. Arlene Martin Palmer Rigerian. Isaiah James. I saw Jacqueline. Norma Willocks is late to church. Where's Norma? Norma I need to talk to you. Is either you find a new man? So why are you not coming to church no more? Because you have fixed fence when you should be at church. Your fence are gonna drop down. You get more than drop down and then can tell you see I take the land. See the who else is here? Uh-huh. How you doing? You still singing? So you're Mount Lean, sir. Huh? Sit again. No, but just at 9 o'clock, you have to open at the heart. Church is raptus, which is really torture. That is what the rapture is. I come with salvation. I do not come to rape my people of their freedom, of their breath. You have to pay in this nation to go up your footprint, foot carbon footprints. If you march in this nation, you must pay. If you breathe in this nation, you must pay. Do you not understand that fear of has built his great house and he is stepping on your necks. Hera tried to bring me down, but I am that I am. All you people of the world, I came to you in this form. I am Sumasa, born in Glengoff, Isaba, ah, Victoria, the year of Jubilee and victory. What? What happened? Oh, hospital mat. They made my life a mat. I suffered. I bled. Look at this night when I came to call all of my sheep, the stray sheep from the 12 tribes and nation. The thunder comes, the cloud comes, and the rain comes. But you did not believe my report. I am a fountain of life. 
I am the Catherine, the Catherine Peak. I come from St. Catherine. That's why you gave me water from where I come from. St. Catherine, Jamaica, is where I was born. I have fulfilled all things at the age of nine years old. The angel of the Lord came and spoke to this body and asked me if I would give the eternal yes. I have given the eternal yes. I came as Jonah the water. But they mocked me and they scuffed me. They surrounded me and they looked at me and said, Who is this man? Because man, God was tabernacled in man, seen of men. I carried the government. in the vehicle nobody not tell me nothing the, if the minister of national security come out can tell people say this normal people for stone him even when the make a prisoner got doctor they handcuff them it looked to me like this man in at the back of the vehicle you know handcuff and he grab the driver back way and at that send the vehicle a gully i wrestle him i wrestle with the vehicle with, with, with the driver he grab the driver back way at that happened, me said the entire senior rank in the police force of St. James to get kicked out of the force because no senior officer cannot authorize a transfer like this. But I'm a transfer prisoner already, you know. If you ever do this in a rehearsal, then kick you out of the force. Me say people need for call for the resignation of all of the superintendent them in a St. James. Brother, no prisoner no get transfer from St. James to Kingston, 120 mile. And they no have escort. A bullshit that. And they have to handcuff in the vehicle too. 